During the 5th Azerbaijan International Defense Exhibition ADX, 2024, Azerbaijan unveiled an upgraded version of its Israeli Sandcat Stormer armored vehicle, potentially outfitted with the Advanced Spike NLOS missile system. This presentation follows Azerbaijan's military operation in the Nagorno-Karabakh region in 2023 and aligns with the country's plan to boost defense spending to approximately 3.8 billion US dollars in 2024. The Plazan Stormer displayed at ADX was equipped with four Spike NLOS missiles, capable of hitting targets at a range of up to 32 kilometers from ground and sea platforms. Azerbaijan's military operation in Nagorno-Karabakh on September 19, 2023, aimed at asserting control over the region, has led to significant geopolitical tension. The offensive triggered a mass exodus of Armenians fearing reprisals, while Russian peacekeepers were killed during the operation, but Moscow did not intervene. Azerbaijan's strong economic position, driven in part by its role as a key natural gas supplier to the European Union amidst the Ukraine conflict, has enabled it to expand its military capabilities significantly. In recent years, Azerbaijan has diversified its defense procurement, acquiring military equipment from Turkey and Israel. This includes upgrades to Su-25 combat aircraft, a remote sensing satellite, and additional Barak air defense systems. The projected 6% increase in defense spending for 2024 underscores Azerbaijan's continued focus on bolstering its military capabilities. Armenia has also increased its defense spending with a budget of 1.28 billion US dollars in 2023, a 46% rise from the previous year, and plans to increase this further to 1.4 billion US dollars in 2024. Facing delays in Russian arms deliveries due to Moscow's involvement in Ukraine, Armenia has sought alternative suppliers, including India, from which it has signed contracts for 155mm ATAGS towed howitzers, Panaka multiple launch rocket systems, and Akash air defense systems. Armenia has also been transitioning toward NATO standard artillery and integrating Western military training and command practices. In a notable strategic shift, Armenia has distanced itself from Russia, even inviting an EU monitoring mission while reducing its participation in CSTO activities. Azerbaijan's military consists of approximately 64,050 active personnel, with an additional 300,000 reservists. The armed forces focus on territorial defense, with a conscription system that requires 18 months of service, 12 months for graduates. Azerbaijan has increasingly shifted its defense partnerships away from Russia, establishing strong ties with Israel, Turkey, and Pakistan. In 2021, Azerbaijan signed the Shusha Declaration with Turkey formalizing defense cooperation, and conducted joint military exercises like the Mustafa Kemal Ataturk 2023. Furthermore, Azerbaijan signed bilateral defense agreements with Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan in 2023, and its domestic defense industry continues to expand through its Ministry of Defense industry. The Plazan Sandcat Stormer is part of the Israeli-made Sandcat family of vehicles, widely used in military and security operations due to its modular design which supports multiple configurations for personnel transport, reconnaissance, and combat support. The Stormer is equipped with composite armor that provides protection against small arms fire, IEDs, and other battlefield threats. Its all-terrain capabilities are enhanced by a diesel engine producing around 500 horsepower, along with high ground clearance, reinforced suspension, and run-flat tires. The variant displayed at ADX 2024 featured the Spike NLOS, non-line of sight, missile system, developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. This missile system is renowned for its precision and ability to engage targets beyond the line of sight, up to 32 kilometers from ground or sea platforms, and 50 kilometers from aerial platforms. It uses electro-optical guidance and offers both direct and indirect attack modes, with a radio data link for guidance beyond 8 kilometers. The Spike NLOS can be equipped with various warhead types, including anti-armor, blast penetration, and high-explosive fragmentation warheads. The Spike NLOS is used by 43 countries including Israel, the UK, South Korea, and the US. The missile has proven effective in counterinsurgency operations, with the UK employing it under the designation Exactor in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the US testing it on AH-64E Apache helicopters. The Israeli Navy also uses a maritime variant with a range of 32 kilometers, showcasing the system's versatility across different platforms and mission profiles. Azerbaijan's presentation of the upgraded Sandcat Stormer equipped with the Spike NLOS missile system at ADX 2024 highlights its ongoing efforts to modernize its military capabilities. 
With increasing defense budgets and strategic partnerships with countries like Israel and Turkey, Azerbaijan is positioning itself as a formidable military force in the region. The integration of advanced systems like the Spike and LOS into its arsenal reflects the country's focus on high-precision, long-range strike capabilities, which are critical for maintaining its territorial defense objectives and addressing the complex security dynamics in the South Caucasus.